Hello people, this is the final image that we are going to create. So the, we are going to create something similar to this. Now let's go out to the other document where I've opened on separate layers. The image of the rocks and the image with the face. Select the move tool and move the image with the face above the rocks. And let's change the blending mode of the layer to overlay. Then right click on the layer and choose rasterize layer. Now go to image adjustments desaturate to make it black and white click here and add a levels adjustment layer then click here so that it will only affect the layer with the face and now click and drag the black slider to the left something like this and click and drag the whites to something like this select the layer with the face and let's double click on the layer name to rename it and let's rename it to face and hit enter now go to layer layer mask height all to hide the face completely and now select the brush tool right click in document select the soft round brush with a hardness of 0% and let's set the size to something around 338 or 340 pixels and hit enter now hit uh, D on your keyboard for default black for background and foreground colors make sure that the foreground color is set to pure white And now just start painting to really review parts of the face. Creating the effect like as if the face is carved into the rocks. I think this looks cool. maybe click a bit more to the side right here to reveal the bone structure of the sides of the head and now if you want to add some extra details let's select the levels layer on top Let's go to layer, new layer. Let's give it a name. Let's name it details. And let's hit OK. Now go to image and choose apply image. This will create a merged copy of all the layers in one layer. And now go to filter, other, high pass. Let's set it to, let's see. Let's set it to around seven pixels and hit okay. 
you can hit control plus L for a quick level adjustment. Drag the black slider a bit to the right and the white slider a bit to the left. Maybe the middle slider also a bit to the right. And let me increase the whites a bit more and darken the blacks a bit more and hit OK. And now let's change the blending mode of this layer to hard light or overlay. I think that overlay looks a bit better. So this is before and this is after. But I think this is a bit too much. Let's first set the opacity to something like 70%. Now go to layer. Um, but make sure your layer where your details layer is selected and go to layer, layer mask, height O. Make sure you're still painting with white, that your foreground color is set to white. And with the brush tool selected, you can set the opacity to around 50% to make the changes more, even more smooth. So check the size and the hardness when you right click. And click around the eyes to add some extra details around the eyes. Let's also click on the nose to add some extra details on the nose. And if you want to hide, change it to painting with black. And you can hide some of the details when you click somewhere. And when you paint on the layer mask, or you can select the face layer, select the layer mask, and you can paint her with white with black on the areas that you want to hide. If you want to make them appear again, hit X to make sure you're using white and just paint with white. Get to get it back. I think I'll hide a bit from those parts here, maybe hide a bit from the beard below. And show some more of the side of the face and the cheeks around here give it some more dimension and let's finally select the top layer click again here and it one final level adjustment layer let's pick in the increase contrast one, two, or three from the preset menu. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. I think that one looks best. So this is before and after. And maybe set the opacity of the layer to around 80%. I also would increase the whites a bit more by dragging this slider to the left. And I will also increase the, the shadows, the lightness of the shadows by dragging the middle side a bit to the left. So this is before and after. maybe set the blacks to 15 or 12 
and this is it thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to damien photoshop channel and to like the video